There's 4.6 billion Roblox accounts, and I own a lot. Sometimes I just forget my password, and I end up making a second account. Such as this one where I joined in 2020. What in the world was I playing? Bully People Simulator? What is that? But we're here to see Adopt Me. Believe it or not, I have over 20 accounts, and I want to know exactly what I have on these. Most of these accounts I made for videos, challenges, or just random things. Thing. So this account has 400 bucks, nothing too crazy, and a practice dog. So it seems there's literally nothing on this account, so we can abandon this one and never use this again. VR glasses challenge. Okay, what do I have on this account? I have two Robux! Guys, I am rich. Somehow, I have two Robux on this account. Honestly, I have no idea. I guess I played please donate in the video at some point and I got donated two Robux. Now the good news is, I actually made a video of things you can do with two Robux before. Let's check out the inventory on this account and see if there's actually anything on it. Alright, we have 170 bucks on this account, so a bit less, and a dog. Okay, so this seems all pretty boring, so uh, yeah, this is not a good account. This one is called Please Use Star Code Candy, which you guys should actually go and do. Let's find out if this account actually has anything. Okay, so this account actually actually has a legendary, which I was not expecting. We have a Lunar Moon Bear and a Zodiac Minion Egg. Wait a second, that's actually pretty rare. Is it, is it touched? Is it, okay, so it's a slightly hatched Zodiac Minion Egg and an Ermine. Why do I have that on this account? That is such a random selection of things, okay? Like, can I access my trade license? Yeah, I guess I just- I don't even know. What was this from? Why do I have this? I- I somehow traded a dog to a Tarsia, and then this to this. Um, bro, this must have been from, like, some challenge trading video, where I used, like, a- an alt account so people don't, like, know that it's me and to give me overpays. Because when I do those trading challenges, lots of you guys think that it's rigged because I'm, like, an influencer and people will overpay. So it's why I sometimes just make new accounts for a trading challenge. And then at the end of it, I just have these pets left over. We can have a bit of fun. We're gonna say who here watches Cookie Cutter, the first person to say yes, gets this legendary completely for free. And we got sent a trade request, and they said they watch me. Let's just double check. They're confused because obviously I'm not Cookie Cutter on this account. And I said, you better be a bigger fan after I give you this for free. And they said, sure. Yeah, this is definitely a bad trade, but I want to go and give back to the community and literally give away this stuff completely for free. Which is why I'm going to go and give back to you guys watching this video. So comment if you want this Zodiac Minion Egg. And I'll simply go and give it away to someone who comments on this video. This account has absolutely nothing to the point where it has has zero bucks, the starter egg, and literally nothing on it whatsoever. This account is called Cookie Cutter YouTube 2. Now, you're probably questioning, why would I bother with this? Well, you see, Adobe goes and does these advent calendars, and day 25 is always a pet. So, I have a feeling that I must have made this account to get something and then trade it to myself. Did I not do that? I thought this would have like some advent calendar pet on it because on day 25 of the advent calendar you get a free pet, I'd simply collect it on all of my alt accounts and then trade it to myself. This one is called Cookie Cutter YT2, well I made so many accounts, this one was even made in 2020, so these are like all alt accounts, they have like a random friend and then I'm also friends with myself. Honestly, no idea. Let's find out if there's actually anything on this. Some of these accounts randomly have Robux on them. What I'm praying for is that one of these accounts has a gingerbread, okay? That is kind of what I'm hoping for, because I can definitely remember that some of them did. Yeah, this one seems to have nothing. Oh no, I mean, it's got a trading license. Did I, did I trade stuff? Nothing. What did I use this account for? Cookie Cutter Roblox. 15. There's no way I actually have 15 accounts, but there's also a chance I did. You see, I made this on Christmas of 2022. That's right, I spent Christmas Day making 15 Roblox accounts. I have a feeling that this is definitely gonna have like a Christmas pet on it or something, 
or I maybe already. Oh, okay, yeah, it does. It does. So I I made all of these accounts on Christmas Day to try and uh, like give to myself. So there we go. I should theoretically have like 15 different Roblox accounts that all have a gingerbread reindeer on them. And I think to give an ultra rare, you need a trading license, which is probably why I haven't like done it yet. So what I'm gonna do is just teleport to my girlfriend as she's added as a friend on this account and see if I can just give this pet. I'm not sure if it will let me. Yeah, you need a trading license. And obviously to go and get a trading license, it does take a little bit of time. Which is probably why I never got round to going and gifting this myself. So let's quickly go and do this. My dream pet is a shadow dragon. Okay, what is what is the scam gonna be here? Do you want to trade your frost dragon for my shadow dragon? <laughs> There's no way that would ever happen in uh, Adopt Me trading history. That is not happening whatsoever. I mean, it's safe. But there is no way you could trade a frost for a shadow. Want to trust trade your unicorn for my shadow dragon? Hmm. I do that. <laughs> I sure. One trade or two? Two trades. You give me the unicorn, then I will trade you again. Trust me. Yeah, bro. You're a scammer. That's a scam. Let's stand on the big red button. There you go. Claim the license. Now I should just be able to go and gift anyone this pet. Let's have a look. Well, there we go. They received the gingerbread reindeer. So I could go and do that on all of my accounts. And on Christmas Day this year, we can go and get the other new pet and then do that again. All right, let's check out what this other account has. I honestly have so many accounts. Is there anything on this? 125 bucks. And yes, let's go. A gingerbread reindeer. Now, again, I very much doubt that I have the trading license. It definitely seems I do not. So I'm pretty sure I have 16 of the exact same brand new accounts all made on Christmas Day. Now, I wonder if I can actually go and use this code machine. So let's try it. A, um, truck 2023. Is this the code? I don't mean truck and then we choose the color. Can you trade these? I don't think this is tradable, but... Maybe we'll go and test that out once we get the trading license. I have successfully gone and got the trading license. Now all I have to do is simply go and give all of the stuff away. So can you give this? This item is not tradable. That is a shame. Um, but the brand new pets are, so let's go and do that. The gingerbread reindeer, bye bye. I'm gonna have enough to make a mega neon. This is such an underrated pet. I guess what I could do is also just spend the bucks that I have on these accounts and just buy gifts and then just trade them to myself as well. As I may as well actually go and use these bucks because if not, they'll kind of just get forgotten about again for like another couple of years. So let's go and uh, give them all. Hopefully my girlfriend, uh, a appreciates all the gifts. Okay, so it turns out that I have no idea what the passwords are to about 10 of these accounts, which is the issue when you make so many and you don't save the password. Again, I made this one on the 25th of December 2022, nearly a year ago, and this is Cookie Cutter Roblox number 9. Ta-da! I now have another trading license. Alright, so basically, most of these accounts don't have anything crazy on them, they just mostly have gingerbread reindeers, which to be fair, is kind of an adorable pet. I mean, it's very underrated. Let's go and check it out on the journal. So let's pull up this and such um, gingerbread. Bro, look at the journal, it's all like empty. The gingerbread in the journal. I wanna know what this looks like in neon before we make it. So neon looks like that and then mega neon, yeah. So Adopt Me is making a bunch of gingerbread things. They just made a gingerbread hair. They made a gingerbread mouse and so many cool things. And this is like the first ever gingerbread pet. So that's pretty cool. And hopefully we can make a mega. So I guess if you do wanna make a bunch of alt accounts, you can go and like get some pets on them. Then in the future, those pets are definitely gonna be valuable because you've probably forgotten about them and not traded them away since you can't log in. Just make sure that you remember your passwords. You need to watch this one buck versus 100,000 bucks Adopt Me house build. You're going to love this video and it took so much time. Go and check it out right here.